Hello, good morning, everyone. This is Felipe Bonilla, and I'm going to be your teacher for the coming weeks for the English course that you are going to have with me. So basically today, what we are going to do is just to explain the basics of our class. Unfortunately, today I do not have anyone. So I will record this class in order to you to be able to watch it later. So because I like punctuality, today is Tuesday, Tuesday, 7 a.m. And the day is 19th. It's May 19th, Tuesday and 7 a.m. So we are starting our course. And let me show you, because we are going to use the Google Classroom. It's right here. Uh, where is it? Let me just take a moment to show you my screen yeah it's right here well this is the zoom page and right here okay i hope you are looking at this which is the google classroom page the main one so well right here you will find out well this is this is going to be your class with me your teacher and at the beginning, you will see that we already have the different subjects that we are going to review or, or to study, to be more precise. And well, right here is the first message that I wrote to you, all of you, my students, in order to well, know me a little bit more. So, well, if you have time, you can read it. And then, well, we have these videos. I will show you. I hope it is portrayed in the screen. So if it is not, then you will be able later on to watch it. Here we go. No, maybe it is not a good idea because you will not hear the sound. But well, I will just explain that this is a video talking about me a little bit more in order to you to know me. And then, well, we have this session. I wrote this message yesterday. It was 18th of May, which means Monday, yesterday. And today we have our first class. Right here you will see the first message in English language. And it says, hello students, our class is about to begin. I will explain the basics of the course and the way we will conduct the sessions, which this is the, the, the something that we're doing right now. So, well, you will find out right here, just to portray the title of your classroom. And then right here, you will see the different sections. Stream, well, if you have, configured your classroom in English language, you will see it exactly like I'm, I have it right here. If you don't, well, it, it's gonna be in Spanish and the first section, it has to say a tablon, I guess. It's like uh, the Facebook first page. Well, but we're going to talk everything in English. So the first section, which is a stream right here, we are looking at, like just we said, it is just for the messages, the main page. Every time I'm writing, I am writing a message, you will see it right here, every one of you. So if you have to say something, if you have any questions, you can use it as well. You can write your messages talking about anything or asking for information or whatever. So we are going to use the main page like this one, just to keep in contact and communicate each other, All right? So, okay, let's go for the second section, which is um, all of the subjects that we are going to study along the course. So right here, you will see number two or the second section is classwork. So 
you will look at the different modules. If you see, if you watch close enough, you will click on view more and all of them, we have eight modules. The first one is well, this class. Actually, all of these modules are the, all the weeks that we are going to have along the course. So for instance, the module number one, if we click on this, you will see the different subjects that we are going to study. So unit number one, well, it's gonna be in Spanish, but I will explain it in English language right now. Unit number one, the first, well, functions of the language, of course, how do we use the English language? basically to communicate with other people. So describing people physically. So that means that we need to know how to talk about somebody related to the physical appearance. The next one is to identify people physically again. But in this case, the first one is to describe and the second one is to identify. When somebody is telling you something about someone, let's say, well, I was with my friend. He's a very friendly peep of person and he is tall. He is 20, 25 years old. So I am describing someone to you, the listener. So with, based on that information, you have to identify that particular person <clears throat> with all of those characteristics. So, and finally, we have the description words. Basically, this is the kind of questions that we are going to use in order to obtain information related, well, in this particular case, for the description of people. But anyway, it can be used for describing things, describing situations, describing whatever you want to describe. But in this particular section or module number one, we are going to discuss the descriptions, the physical description of the people. So if you click right here, you will see the information related to all of this that we, are, we just said. Well, everything is in Spanish, which I guess it's not gonna be any problem for all of you. So like we said, as we explained um, previously, we have right here, the subjects related for this first week. Let me make sure that you are looking at the page, looking at my window. Yes, okay, perfect. So right here, you will find all the information that you need for every, of, every week that we are going to have so at the beginning, which is this one, and until the end. So you can just scroll down, you will see all of this information. Once again, all of the subjects that we are going to discuss. So, well, now the mechanics of the class is gonna be that, because if I only speak everything, it makes no sense because it is no difference if I just place you videos from other other places that with people speaking in English or explaining the lectures. So what I'm going to do, unfortunately right now, I do not have anyone. I really don't know why, but well, anyhow, um, when I have my students online, which is, it is supposed to be the purpose of all of this, what I'm going to do is that I will ask you for questions in order to you to be um, able to give me information related to all of these subjects or the topic, the particular topic that we are discussing at that lecture. In this case, we'll describing things like we just said. So um, I will explain. We have, oh, this is very important. We have two days of class. Right now, today, like we uh, explained at the beginning of all of this class, it's going to be Tuesdays, the first at the beginning. And then the second class is going to be Tuesdays. 
So we have, no, I'm sorry, Tuesdays and Thursdays, which in Spanish means martes y jueves. So both days is going to be two hours each day. In total of the week, it's going to be four hours. I'm a, I, I hope this is clear. So once again, just to recapitulate, we are going to have two days per week class. And those days of the week, it's going to be Tuesdays like today and Thursdays, meaning past tomorrow. And in total, we are going to have four hours. So like I said, or I explained before, the objective or the main goal is to you to be practicing every class with me because well, it is useless or particularly I think it is make no sense if I just are, I am speaking, explaining, and talking in English to all of you. So what I'm going to do or what I want you to do is to make more interactive all of these sessions. So you can ask me questions and I can hear you and I will be able to uh, correct any errors or to make you improve, which will practice. This, this is the only way because it's like any discipline. If you want to learn how to play a piano or a guitar or any other instrument, instru musical instrument, the only way to getting better each time is to practice every day. So what I will ask you to do and this is, well, this is going to be your homework because it is not going to be, I will not oblige you to do such thing, but I will strongly recommend and suggest you to do it, which is to watch English news. And well, it is, it's not going to be difficult because you can access to the YouTube platform and then you can just uh, search for English news. You can type in uh, the latest news or the new, just basic news in the YouTube bar searching space. And then automatically you will have all of the different results that they will show you the news in the English language. So every day, I will suggest you and recommend you to do it every day at least 30 minutes you will have to watch and to hear the English news because doing so you will increase your listening capabilities in English language. So, well, as I said, this is something that I will not oblige you to do it, but this is a strong recommendation. I strongly recommend you to do it. Okay. Because then you can, First thing is, well, you will hear different accents in English language, and that will help you to understand different types of pronunciations. But well, this is only if you wanna do it. But like, like we just explained before or previously, my main objective is to you to practice with me, speaking, talking, obviously related to the topic that whatever we are going to have like in this case, describing people. So, well, I hope this is not difficult to read and to understand all of the objectives and, what, and the things that we want to do. So we can just go back. And this is the first module related to the first week, which is this one, which is the first class, Tuesday class. And the next one is gonna be in Thursday. And we are going to talk about the same subject, but I hope I will have my students connected and the schedule that we have, which uh, like I explained, is gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? So, well, right here we have an image, a picture, a drawing to be precise of different people persons in one particular location. So the exercise here that I will ask you to do, well, in the 
in the next class because right now I am just by my own, I am alone, unfortunately, is that you are going to tell me or we are going to describe this scenario. So, well, I will not do it right now because then I will, I will make your homework and that's not the objective, that's not the point at all. So, but you, get, you will explain me, okay, just let's do uh, an example. If I ask you where we are talking if we were in this room with all of these persons, all of these people. So you will tell me now, but is this a supermarket? Is this the street? Is this an elevator? Is this where this is place? Where is it, I mean? So what I'm doing right here is explaining to you how to obtain information. Like we just reviewed in the module number one topics, which at the end, if I recall properly, it, said, it, it, it says um, using key questions to describe or to obtain information. I, it is something related to that. But anyhow, what I'm doing here is to explaining the use of those key questions in order to obtain information. So, for instance, where we are, first question. I'm asking information related to the location, okay? Number two, what are these people doing? What are they doing? So basically what I'm asking is, well, how, it's a key question in order to obtain information, but how we can just divide it in different forms. How is it? So related to how do we do something or how is it in the shape or physical appearance or the form? So in this case, what are these people doing is related to how, what are they doing? How they are doing this actions, particular things. So how, what are these people doing? then you will have to explain me, well, what is this particular uh, man, this sir, doing in this picture? Or this mother with her son? Or these two people, what are they doing? Or what's happening? In this case, we need to describe what we are watching. Or what's happening with this woman that it is sitting in this chair? Or what's happening at, at the first frame of the picture with this man and this old woman speaking each other? Well, I'm, <laughs> I just already gave you the answer. The first obvious answer is, well, they are speaking. Because this woman, what is she doing? Is she speaking? Mm, I, don't, I don't know, you have to tell me that. You have to explain in, based on the, what are you looking at? You have to give me that information, answering the key questions, okay? So another would be, what is this woman doing? Is she speaking? If we compare this woman with this one, then you can tell, well, yes, she is speaking, and so on and so forth. So that's the main goal of this exercise, that you have the ability or the practice to, based on what you are looking at, you can describe things. In this case, well, the physical appearance of these people, and then to explain what are they doing. So, when we finish our class, because um, it's going to be two hours, but the first one is going to be to explain all of this that we just said, or uh, we did, or I did alone, because I do not have any students yet, but I hope the next class I will. And I hope you watch all of this information in order to be update of all of the way or the mechanics of how we are going to do all of this. So the next module, which means the second week, meaning the next 
which is, if today is 19th, it's going to be 26th of May, the next week. So that means module number two. If you click right here, you will see the other topics that we are going to discuss or to study. So the next one is adjectives, the qualificative adjectives. And then uh, we are going to talk about places, how to talk, uh, explain how to describe locations. And then, oh, we are going to study the past tense, which means verbs, which those are the um, words based on the activity of all of the languages. So we are going to study particularly the past tense. When we are not conjugating any verb, that is the infinitive form. And when we, are, we want to talk about the past, well, obviously that's the past tense. However, that's not that easy because we have three time, three forms of um, how to talk about the time, of course, obviously, because it is the past, it is the present, and it is the future. But in the past, we have two forms of uh, how to explain the past time, which is the past tense, the simple one, and the past participle. But well, anyway, I, we will study that in, in time later on. So, well, this is module number two related to the next week that we are going to study all of this. Once again, you can click on this information, this file, and then it will show you all of the subjects and everything that it is planned that we have to do. Then, uh, third week, once again, all of these are the subjects and everything that we have to do and to study and all of that. And as I said, once again, I repeat it. The objective is to you to practice in order to improve because if I am only speaking, well, it is make no, no difference if I just give you material from YouTube or other places in order to you to, to watch it and to hear it. So the, the, the objective, the main goal is you, is to you to interact with me, okay? So, so far so good. Yeah, crystal clear, I hope so. Module three, this is gonna be for number one, two, three, and four. This is the week number four. Module three, once again, all of the topics, information, and all of that. Now I'm alone. I don't have anyone, right? Now, so well, we have all of these modules, and you will have plenty of time to watch all of them. Or if you don't, anyway, we are going to have to take a look of them in the 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 particular week that corresponds to all of them. So, for instance, this is the last week, number fourteen, and these as these are going to be the last topics the simple present the past which well we said it uh before in a couple of minutes before the past tense so basic question what's the name of the verb when it is not conjugated we already said that and i hope you already answered infinitive form okay so just to recapitulate, we have three different verb uh, for forms in order to talk about the time. Those are the past, which is something that already happened. The other one is the present, which is something that it is right now, or the infinitive form. And the number three is the future. In this particular uh, time to talk about, that's not difficult because the only thing that we have to do is just to add one word. And I hope you already know which one is. And that one is will. So when we use the will word for any given verb, we automatically are speaking about the future. Okay, I will speak. So simple as that. That's how 
you talk about the future. When I want to talk about something that already happened, let's say a couple of minutes ago, I talked. In this case, this is a regular verb. Why? Because the only thing that I have to do in order to talk about the past tense is just to add at the end of the word, in this case, in this case, the verb, the letters E, D, all right? So the infinitive form of the verb talk, to speak, to say something, is talk, just like that. And if I want to talk about the past tense, then fortunate, or fortunately, I mean, because it is a regular verb, the only thing that I have to do is just to say talked. Just notice that at the end of the word, it is like if I say a t, t sound, like a T, like t, t. That's the only difference that you have to pronounce in order to talk about the past. Once again, just to make clear, talk, that's the infinitive form, which means the present, something that it is happening right now. So the past tense, and because it is a regular verb, the only thing is to add at the end t sound. Talked, talked. I talked five minutes ago about any module, whatever. I'm talking, well, that's another, um, but that's something that we're going to study in, in, in the future. I am talking is the present continuous. It is an action that it is happening right now and it's still, it's continuous. It is nonstop until I say so. I was speaking when something happened, but that's another topic that we are going to study later. I hope so. I don't remember all of the topics, but we can just review all of that information when you are connected. So just to uh, sum up all of this information, you will be able to watch all of the topics right here. Those are the 14 weeks that we are going to have in this course. Module one, which is this week, and module eight, until module eight, which is the last week, number 14, if I recall properly. So, um, uh, right here, verb plus infinitive. Well, this is wrong because any verb without conjugation is already an infinitive form. So it, is, it makes no sense to add the pair plus infinitive, but well, anyway, you already have, you already know that. So <clears throat> at the end right here, people, or uh, personas in Spanish, if you have configured that classroom in Spanish language, right here, you will find out that the um, career coordinator, which is Carmen, is gonna be present all the time right here. And well, your teacher, which is me, um, I'm here as well. And well, my students, which they are none yet, right here, you will be up here, you will appear. Oh, listen, that I'm using the future. You will appear, will, and then the verb, okay? When we will, we want to talk about future tense. And finally, well, according to the coordination, they do not want you to do homework. I mean, that I give you a lot of tons of tons of homework. So for the same reason, I'm suggesting you to every day watch English news, obviously in English language. Um, the other recommendation that I can give you is, there is one option, and the YouTube videos, which is settings, you click on the settings. No, no, I'm sorry, sorry, it is in captions, I guess. Let me check if you can watch my YouTube page. Um, let me make sure that you are looking at, yes, I guess, yes, if you are looking at my computer, computer screen. So, okay. Let's do an exercise. Let's just pretend that you want to watch, <laughs> I'm sorry, and to listen English news. So the only thing that you have to do is just to type in 
Well, if you see all of the different options that we have available to increase potentially our course. Of course, I will give you all of that in different options in the modules, the ones that we already just saw. So and let, um, let's move on, shall we? And let's type in English news. There you go, all of these different options that you have available, okay? So let's just click on the first one and to see what we have. Okay, and, oh, well, just because it is a trending topic worldwide, uh, you already know that, that's why we are having this virtual class, it's because of the coronavirus. So, well, you have a lot of info related to that matter, that matter. So, how to learn English with the news? Oh, well, right here, somebody, an English speaker, a native English speaker, that it is supporting the recommendation that I already gave you, how to learn English with the news, okay? So, you will be able to scroll down to see the different options. You can just click on whatever option you want to see. Let's do, uh, okay, let's click, what's happening here? With no money, no food. Migrants walk back home. So sad. But well, let's see something not so sad. What is right here? Under the run first at nine, English news. Okay, let's just click in the first one because why not? Here we go. You can uh, click on that particular video and here we go. Uh, I guess you will not hear anything, but in your own computers, right here I'm listening to this man and he's saying about the countries that it is those are fighting the coronavirus in the present days. He's talking about somebody from India and so on so forth. So I will not explain to you all of the news. The idea is to you to, to watch them, to hear, ah, oh yeah, the, all of this uh, exercise was to, t to tell you right here, configuration, annotations. You will see, well, well in Spanish, once again, let's go from, from the beginning. Now uh, you will be watching the uh, news in English language. And then YouTube give, gives you, I mean, the option of configuration and then annotation, annotaciones in Spanish. If you have them, then you will see right here the subtitles of, of whatever you are looking at in the video. In this case, well, those are not present because it is live. It is right now happening, this news. So I need to watch another video just to demonstrate what I said with that option of the captions uh, right here. Let me make sure that you are looking at that. Yes, okay. Well, this is an advertisement. Let's just jump this advertisement. And once again, this is another video of news in English language. We have this guy talking. And if you can see right here, we have the subtitles, subtitles, I mean. And you can just read it or maybe past the quarantine skins. Another reason might be that their leaders are leading the, by example, only wrong, blah, blah, and so, so on, so forth, etc. Well, we have this, uh, the president of the US doing a public speech. And well, just to recapitulate, right here, you will have this option which is subtitle, sub, yeah, subtitles, subtitulos in Spanish. Settings, it is just next to settings or configuration. 
uh, Judeo-Christian. So uh, anyway, anyhow, let me just stop this. This is was only to show you and to explain how you can improve every day listening and watching the English news like we just did. Okay, like, like an example. So just to finish this session, um, let me go back to the classroom. We, here we are once again. Those are the people that we are going to be your, well, no, only I am the one that we will be your teacher for this English course. But here is gonna be your coordinator as well. And like we just explained, we have right here all the different modules that all of those are the 14 weeks that it is the span of our class. And finally, just to make sure, once again, this is going to be the stream, the first page, the main page that we are going to have in order to communicate all of, all of us. Okay. So I hope this first class and video is uh, very helpful to you in order to give you an idea or ha of how we are going to have all of these lectures. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching all of this information of your first class. You have to do it, it's your responsibility. And I will be um, in contact right here by classroom. And we are going to have our next class, not tomorrow, past tomorrow, which means that it's going to be Thursday. Okay. So thank you so much to, to be responsible and to watch all of this information. And see you next time. Okay. Take care.